Hi, my name is Marco Loggia. I'm an associate professor at Harvard Medical School with appointments both in the Department of Radiology and Anesthesia at Mass General Hospital. I am the director of the Pain and Neuroinflammation Imaging Laboratory and also I co-direct together with uh, Vitaly Napado, the Center for Integrative Pain Neuroimaging. I came here in 2008 as a postdoctoral fellow after completing my PhD in Neuroscience at McGill University. I was very interested in studying pain and uh, I remain here since. So my laboratory is made up of approximately, at this point in time, 8 to 10 people. The mission of my lab is to understand chronic pain in humans. Uh, we ask questions such as, why are certain people prone to develop chronic pain? What are the factors that make others uh, being uh, protected from chronic pain? And what are the brain mechanisms that we can actually target as potential therapeutic target to treat it? One of my favorite recent studies that were published uh, in the past two to three years was a study we conducted in collaboration with Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, in Sweden. And uh, this was a study uh, with patients suffering from fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a very mysterious condition. We don't quite understand what causes it and how to treat it. And in this study, we show that patients with fibromyalgia uh, have elevated level in their brain of a protein called the translocator protein, which is a marker of inflammation. First of all, by simply uh, showing that there are objective neurochemical changes in the brains of patients with fibromyalgia, we somehow validate the complaints of these patients. These patients are often stigmatized, they're not taken seriously, and they're not treated well. By simply showing that there is something happening in their brain, we give them um, a validation to their complaints. But we not only show that there is something different in these people's brain, but there's something we can do about it, because uh, new information presumably can be treated. And there are some treatments that are currently being tested to see if a reduction in uh, uh, brain inflammation can be beneficial in these patients. Being an undergrad back in Milan and reading about all these wonderful studies from the Martino Center, it was almost like a holy place for me. And then it's, it's kind of surreal for me to, to know that I'm here now. And of course, everybody always think about the Martino Center in terms of you know, the greatest technologies, the best imaging techniques and the skills. And, and absolutely, those are there. There's no question about it. But really, what I would say is you know, come from the scanners and stay for the community. We really are quite tight-knit. We help each other. We learn from each other a lot. Uh, there's a lot to learn from everybody else. And just to give an example of how the community has come together recently uh, during the 2020 lockdown. Of course, we were not allowed to invite each other for dinner as we would, would typically do. Uh, so we decided to start sharing videos of each other uh, cooking. And so I shared a video cooking some Italian dish and then somebody else uh, shared their own dish. And you know, Martino Center, approximately 70% of people are from abroad. So there is a lot of different cultures and different cuisine to be represented. And so this eventually converged into a book. So the Martino Center, in addition of producing great cutting edge science and wonderful technology, is also the producers of a wonderful cookbook, the Martino's cookbook, and you can actually buy it. And of course, uh, being Italian, I love to cook and I love to play soccer. Uh, I also enjoy playing uh, music. I, I played in a lot of bands, I played in gospel choirs and in uh, multiple tribute to Pink Floyds, and I played as a pianist in uh, or keyboardist in rhythm and blues bands, etc., etc. And so that's something that I've, I've I've always enjoyed doing. I think that the environment in the lab is uh, is very uh, wonderful and supportive. We're always looking for talent at any levels, uh, from more junior to more senior, and we are we've been blessed really to to have fantastic trainees. And so if anybody wants to join us, uh, please apply, because there is always opportunities.